someone's stolen Elaine. That is unfortunate. It will be difficult to get her back. Do you know who kidnapped her? Not for certain, but I suspect that it's the mangy pirates anchored in Danger Cove. Can you give me something to lift the curse? No, LeChuck's curse is a very powerful one. Fueled by his anger and his intense frustration in dealing with the opposite sex. I have nothing here to lift so powerful a curse, but there is one way. Great, tell me. You have to replace the cursed ring with a pure one of greater or equal value. A good guideline is two months' salary. Where am I going to find a huge, uncursed diamond ring? Legends speak of a whopping big diamond ring on Blood Island. Blood Island? I've never heard of it. You will soon become quite familiar with it. But you must be careful, Guybrush. I have foreseen that your journey will be filled with peril and deception. I have also seen that Blood Island will be the place where you will die. Die? D did you say die? As in me, dead. Don't be such a baby. Isn't there a less dangerous way? No. The value of the ring on Blood Island comes from its emotional significance. It represents a pure, true love, a power greater than any other. Oh, that's sweet. I... I think I have something in my eye. Do not mock the voodoo priestess. How do I get to Blood Island? You will need three things. A map to Blood Island, for the journey is a long and dangerous one. A seaworthy ship to take you there. And an experienced crew. Map, ship, and crew. Got it. Well, how will I find the ring on Blood Island? All I can say is that I see a long and painful history connected with that ring. And I feel a great sadness associated with it. You will learn more once you have actually found the island. Blood Island sounds dangerous. You have to come with me. No, I cannot. I have lived on three different islands in the past six years. I do not wish to travel anymore. Besides, this derelict is still an escrow. But who will give me information and advice? You've got to come. You're my only hope. No, Guybrush. There is another. Blood Island, here I come. Who did you say kidnapped Elaine? I suspect it was the work of the pirates anchored in Danger Cove. Who are these pirates? No one knows. But people speak of strange, almost inhuman screams coming from their ship late into the night. Creepy. And their captain is a cruel, savage beast. The fiercest pirate ever to sail the Caribbean. Where's Danger Cove? It is on the west side of the island. The way is extremely treacherous. Few men have seen Danger Cove and lived. Figures. This is gonna be complicated, isn't it? You have no idea. What's that? Oh, I said, good luck. Well, they're gonna regret messing with my girlfriend. Danger Cove, huh? You might wanna stay indoors. This could get messy. Tell me again how to lift this curse. You need to replace the cursed ring with a pure one on Blood Island. And to get to Blood Island, you need a map, a ship, and a crew. Map, ship, and crew. Got it. I finally defeated LeChuck and his skeleton pirates. True evil can never be destroyed completely. But I heard him blow up and everything. You'd be surprised at how much abuse an evil, undead zombie pirate can take. Well, how can I finally destroy him for good? No one knows. His power seems to grow with every incarnation. You may have dealt with him for now, but this respite can only be temporary at best. What makes you think LeChuck will be back? Some men can search their entire lives and never discover their reason for being. The Chuck has found his. 
to perpetually rise from the dead and torment you and Elaine. It's what he does best. Gee, when you put it that way, it's kind of hard to stay mad at him. I'm sick of talking about that jerkla Chuck. What island is this, anyway? You have landed on Plunder Island. Plunder Island? Sounds appropriately piratey. Naturally. It's a sort of retirement community for ex-pirates and their spouses. Hmm, sounds exciting. Lately, there has been all too much excitement on the island. All centering around Governor Marley, the Chuck, and a giant chicken. Elaine is governor of this island, too? Actually, Elaine is the governor of the entire Tri-Island area, comprised of Melee, Booty, and Plunder Islands. She moved to her fort here on Plunder after the kitchen and landscaping staff quit her Booty Island mansion. Well, how did you end up on Plunder Island? I realized that my location in the swamp on Scab Island wasn't ideally situated. So you moved to a swamp on a different island? I just said I could see the future. I never claimed to be an expert in real estate. What about this giant chicken business? Ah yes, Skybrush. You have landed on an island gripped by the cold, clammy hand of fear. Don't you think you're being a bit overdramatic? This was a peaceful island, until the great beast landed on our shores. Some say it was sent to make the islanders pay for their cruelty. Others claim it was simply blind fate. Whatever the impetus, it came. A giant chicken? It was El Pollo Diablo. The giant demon chicken. Tall as a man, and twice as powerful, his massive drumsticks propel him through the dark jungle with ease. No one has seen the beast, but on the eve of the full moon, his blood-curdling squawk can be heard from every corner of this wretched island. In the dark of night, he roosts patiently, watching waiting for the one day. No, 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 wait. Don't tell me. Let me guess. He's crossing the road to freedom. He roams the island, exacting terrible vengeance on those who would capture and eat his smaller brethren. Oh, give me a break. There were once others like you, skeptical to the true nature of the beast. But they're all dead now, pecked into a bloody pulp by his savage beak. But I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. Yeah, right, whatever. Thanks, I've heard all I needed to know. Thanks for your help, gotta go.